Hey guys, Professor Yerby here. In this tutorial today, we're going to be talking about VOIP or voice over IP or even video over IP. So we know IP is our internet protocol, so that's our internet. Uh, so I'm going to be using a website here from abc-voip.com uh, that tells us what voice over IP is. And there's a, a little image I want to use from this. Uh, basically, it says, uh, VOIP is phone service with no borders. It was developed to provide voice communication in any place around the world. So if you think about it, uh, previously, a few years ago, or even still today, uh, we would be tied to, to landline phones that would charge pretty high rates for long distance phone calls. And, um, and especially if you wanted to call uh, anywhere outside of the country, those phone calls will be even more expensive. Uh, let's see, VOIP has a lot of advantages over the traditional phone reason. The main is uh, the cost. So if you have a computer with a microphone and speakers or good and a good internet connection, you can use voice over IP for free. So there's several free things out there when we think of voice over IP. Uh, probably one of the most prominent ones you think about is Skype. That's owned by Microsoft. Uh, Google has a good Hangout, uh, I mean a good product also called Google Hangouts. It's also free. Uh, and that's actually video conferencing, but you can also do just voice. So here are some definitions. So VOIP uh, enables users of broadband internet to make phone calls to other VOIP users and to regular phones. So if you're using Skype, you can use Skype to make a phone call from one Skype user to another Skype user, and that's uh, typically free. You can also use your Skype account to make a phone call from your computer or from your smartphone with the Skype application uh, to a user's landline. And usually you'll pay per minute for that, and the rates are anywhere from Two or three cents to about 10 or 15 cents per minute. Uh, so if you're out of the country, that's really not that uh, that big of a, a cost. So I've uh, done some traveling abroad and when I'm maybe somewhere uh, in Europe where I don't have cell phone service, what I can do is I can find I can find a, a wireless signal and I can call using my Skype application. I can call uh, on my phone to someone's landline or I can use my Skype application and call another Skype user. And that's free. Um, so let's get back to here. So there's lots of cost savings. Uh, it's fairly flexible except for you need to have that high speed data connection. Uh, it can be used for voicemail and fax applications, reduces the need to print documents and have access to email, uh, takes advantage of IP by using packet switch networks, and it works directionally through your computer using a headset or special VOIP phone, while others require a special adapter. So let's take a look at those different ways that you can use voice over IP. So in this first way, this person has installed software on their computer uh, something we maybe call a soft phone. So they've installed that. They run the application on their computer and it connects to the internet and they're able to speak with other people that are either on an old fashioned landline or they are on their their computer with the voice over IP here we see client C or they are on voice over IP with a phone adapter. So you've probably seen commercials for something like Vonage or where the cable company in your area is offering phone service. So the way that works is you get a regular phone that you would have had if you purchased a, a landline from the phone company. They come out and they install or they mail you a phone adapter that plugs in and that connects to the internet and then you use your regular landline. It's really going through voice over IP, 
but it works just the same way as the landline. You pick it up and you dial just like you would um, if you were this way with the old public switch telephone network. Uh, the other way is maybe I'm giving a call to a business. So the business may have, oh wait, this one's not the business. This one is uh, other voice over IP providers. So um, maybe this is something like Magic Jack. So that's another VoIP uh, provider. So they allow you to have calls directed to your cell phone network, your cell phone number, uh, or to your Magic Jack number. Over here, this is calling a corporate network. So here's the corporate network, and then they have several devices on their voice over IP phone. So those are all the different ways you can do it. So you can do it with a special phone that's uh, been created as a voice over IP phone. You can use a computer as a soft phone. You can use a traditional phone with a, an adapter, or you can go through a, a corporate server and do it that way. So pretty, pretty flexible. And again, the, the biggest advantage is uh, it's cheap, a lot cheaper. And the other advantage, if we're doing it this way where we see this corporate network, so we could have a calling tree kind of set up in our Active Directory in our network. And we can use products like Microsoft Sync. I believe that's what it's called still. Let me double check. Maybe, nope, not sync. Um, uh, links. Yeah. Link. Yeah. So we can use a product such as Microsoft Link. And what this will do is it will let uh, people connect with each other no matter where they're at through chat, video conferencing, messages built into a link server, a corporate server, or through telephone, and that can ring at your desk or it can ring on your cell phone. Great with companies that have people that are rotating offices or working out in the field. Um, so yeah, Microsoft Link. And I, I, uh, speaking with, with people in industry, I'm really seeing this start to become more and more popular uh, in places. Uh, so I have a friend that's working at uh, the VA office, the Veterans Affairs office, and they use this to connect all the VA uh, people. So, but yeah, Link, it's been around for years. I think it used to be called something else, uh, but it's got plenty of VOIP things built into it. All right, thanks. Hope you've enjoyed this and have a good day.